The Galapagos Islands, located off the coast of Ecuador, are renowned for being one of the most biodiverse destinations in the world. But this unique corner of the world is not immune to the negative impact of booming population, over-tourism, overfishing, and other environmental challenges. Today, a lot of work goes into ensuring the long-term survival of the ecosystem on the Galapagos Islands. As sustainable travel advocates, we travel to the Galapagos to understand how this fragile destination manages to maintain the right balance between tourism and conservation. From the moment we stepped foot on the Galapagos Islands, it became clear. Wildlife dominates the landscape of the islands, and nature is in charge. During our visit, we learned that the thriving wildlife habitat in the Galapagos would not be possible without the support and advocacy of the local population and the Ecuadorian government. The Galapagos Islands entrance fee and the mandatory license guide requirement provide essential funds and ensure that strict conservation rules are adhered to by all visitors to the Galapagos. To help combat over-tourism, the government has restricted the size of the boats allowed to cruise the islands to just 100 passenger maximum. Some uninhabited islands can only be visited on boats with 16 passengers or less. Although development on the islands is very restricted, land-based holidays that support local communities are now proving to be the most sustainable way to visit the Galapagos. These sustainable tourism efforts have helped tackle many issues, including overfishing, as fishermen have realized that they can earn far more reliable income from tourism than fishing. Our trip helped us see that the strategy of ecotourism on the Galapagos Islands has brought great economic benefit and remains the only practical way of supporting this unique ecosystem and the incredible wildlife that call the Galapagos Islands their home.